team, I told you that we were gonna come out to the desert and we were going to use our potato launcher. So here we are, the desert. So the potato launcher, that's what we're doing all day today. Uh, we're gonna be testing not only how well it works and how far it can go, we're also gonna be testing how powerful it is. And so we have these items up here. We have this monitor, we have this skull head thing, and then we have this watermelon. And we're gonna shoot the potato launcher directly at it. And we're just gonna see what happens. So we can get kind of like a gauge, you know? I've heard they're very dangerous. I've heard they're very powerful, but I'm really curious, like, how powerful are they? How dangerous are they? One thing before we get started, though, I will have to say, this thing is really dangerous. Uh, do not try this at home. Uh, if you are gonna build a potato launcher, make sure you're 18 years older, you're an adult. Um, if there's any kids watching, do not do this. Let me come out to the desert where it's safe and there's no one around uh, and show you what it's all about. And if you want to do something like this, make sure you have a parent with you at all times. But now it is time to fire up. If you guys remember from last time, the way this works, we spray the hairspray in here, two second hold. Uh, then we load the tater down in there and then we cap it off back and then goosh. My prediction is it's gonna go like, I don't know, uh, 300 feet. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Three, two, one, Sith Lord. <laughs> that was great! That was so sick and it made the same sound. I'm just gonna run out there and show you guys how far that actually went. I think that actually went almost exactly 300 feet. It's still really intact. Like it's like, I bet you we could probably even fire that thing again. If we look back where the cars are, look how tiny they are. I mean, I would imagine sending something this heavy that far, there's a lot of power behind it. So I think the only thing that we could do <laughs> shoot it at a watermelon, <laughs> obviously. So let's go do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blah, 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 blah. All right, in three, two, one, watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> 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 Oh wow, yeah, impact. That's gnarly. It's split it open for sure. All right, one more. We're not done with this watermelon yet. One, two, three, four, five. Fryer in the hole. Actually, this looks like really good watermelon. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know. You can't get any more organic than that. It was split by a potato. <sighs> cheers. Mm, cheers, bro. Mm. Brought to you by Idaho. That was a success. Look, I'm eating watermelon in the summertime. I got an American hat on. Can't get more American than this. I just fired a gun. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Fry her away. <laughs> three, two, one, fry her. Oh! Oh my good God. I mean, it just destroyed the outer like plastic. Holy crap. These potato launchers are, are no joke. Like this is some serious damage. That is intense. All right, let's put the foam head in there. Here we go. In three, two, one. Oh my God! Wasn't it, wasn't a direct hit. Oh no! We got the potato launcher uh, to work and we just needed it to hit the foam head and the wind picked up and it was like 20 miles an hour it ruined our tent just ripped it right in half and it's just sending all of our stuff way down the desert so that's that's one of the problems with shooting in the desert when the wind picks up there's nothing to stop it and so we're literally just having to 
hang out, take cover until the uh, until the wind stops. Because all of our experiments today all have to do with something that's going to happen in the air. So it can't be super windy. So once this blows over, we're going to get back out there and finish this experiment, and um, we'll finish strong. the potato launcher worked great. Um, a couple things I learned by doing this experiment. One, the potatoes actually come out of the barrel and rotate. Um, that can be seen with the watermelon. It's actually rotating as it hits the watermelon. Um, another thing, they go way further than I thought. I mean, they, they must have gone 300 feet. Uh, three, it's way more powerful than I thought. I mean, it exploded the watermelon, it shattered the screen. Um, it, just for like, you know, a couple seconds of hairspray, like they're very powerful. This experiment, very dangerous. Um, if you're under 18 years old, do not try this at home. If you're gonna try it, do so with parental supervision. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, what'd you think of the watermelon? Did that like blow your mind that it just like shattered the watermelon with a potato? Um, and if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button because we have new videos every week. And I'll see you guys really soon.